Welcome to the School of Silence. This is where the noisiest children in the country are sent for some intensive silent training. Very shortly, we're going to be following four new arrivals. And have they got what it takes to stay completely silent? Follow me. This noisy lot are from Glasgow and are having their noise levels assessed by the headmistress and the form tutor. Right, you, name! As you can see, Louise is very noisy and particularly enjoys singing loudly and banging on walls. You, boy, what's your name? Scott says he is so noisy because his parents are noisy. Should make for an interesting parents evening. Right, you, Nate! Ross enjoys nothing more than being loud and noisy at school. Oh, dear. You at the end! <laughs> Shannon says she likes to make a lot of noise by coughing loudly. I hope she puts her hand over her mouth. That's enough! Get out! Come on, get out! This lot have definitely come to the right place for their silent training. <laughs> Here's how the day works. The new pupils have three challenging classes to learn how to be silent, followed by the crucial final exam, which will determine whether they graduate or will be expelled. If they are too noisy, I will know about it, thanks to this device, the Gobstop 2000, the latest in noise monitoring technology. If they pass, they will graduate and receive the ultimate reward, the Golden Gobstopper. If they fail to keep that shut, then I will have no choice but to expel them. Now, before we begin, I must ensure the school has been hushed down. Seven seconds to hush down. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Shh. It's time for silent training to start in their first class of the day with Mr. Gross. It's a shame we can't live it. <sighs> come in! Go sit down, don't come anywhere near me. Bang! Yes, I get it. You're noisy. No. Yes. Good grief. It's not drumming. Yes. No, it isn't. Look, enough! Shush! I am Mr. Gross, and I am your teacher for general studies. This is the first lesson in your very important silent training, during which you must remain absolutely silent, because Miss Gobstop will hear on the microphones, which she will be monitoring on her Gobstop 2000. If you make too much noise, it will <laughs> not bode well for your final exam. This is very important training. I have here this jar of gobstoppers. You will pick one of these out of the jar to find out which child will be doing each test. Each gobstop is the same colour as one of your ties. Time for silent training to begin. Sticky beak. You will have 30 seconds to turn your chosen teammate into a bird. You will smear syrup on the face, apply feathers, and of course, finish with a beak. <laughs> but all of this must be done in absolute... Silence. Oh, you're learning already, Scott. Let's find out who's going to be doing the test. <gasps> yes, it is dramatic. <laughs> Scott, pick a gobstopper. Scott, it's you. Excellent. Here are the items that we need. Syrup. Play feathers. And a sticky beak to go on the end. Ross, stand up. When your time starts, make him into a sticky beaked bird. Remember, it must be done in absolute silence. Which you will probably find very difficult because children are rubbish. Your time starts now. Can they be silent? <laughs> no. 
Oh, a lot of noise there. <laughs> well, Sticky Beak is a tough one, but they're out of control. Screaming now. They don't even look as though they're trying to be silent. Oh dear, if they carry on like this, they've no hope of passing their final exam. Enough! Uh, just a quick question. Did any of you hear me when I said this must be done in absolute silence? No. no. I wasn't listening. Oh, well, that's clearly why. Because you were incredibly noisy. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Great! Ooh. You lot are hopeless. Shh. Let's see if they do any better with this one. Teddy Trump. The chosen child will have 30 seconds to cuddle the teddy. Very simple, and it must be done in absolute silence. Hmm. Louise, pick a gobstopper, dear. Oh, Shannon. <laughs> oh, dear. What a shame. Uh -oh. What a shame. Right. <laughs> Spartacus is very, very sleepy. You must cuddle him quietly. If you wake up, Spartacus, you'll probably annoy Miss Gobstop at the same time. Now, stop licking your hands, you disgusting little twerp. <laughs> and I'll give this to you, Shannon. Your time starts now. How will they cope this time? <laughs> oh, dear, more laughing. I'm <laughs> sorry. I, I thought I knew one, but... And a lot of talking. <laughs> Shannon's still giggling. Pooey! <laughs> oh, talking from Louise. They must be the worst um, team we've I ever had at the School of Silence. Oh, oh. Time enough! Whoa. Enough, please! Give me the poor Teddy. So You've given him an upset tummy. All that trumping. It's not my face, it's you. Uh, uh, see, you got went. You trump it. That smells like, that <laughs> smells quite nice, you know. Hmm, I might use that as aftershave. <laughs> they need right. this training. There's so much room for improvement. So what's next? Maggot. Full. Oh, oh, that's back in. Yes, spa. <laughs> right, let's get Scott to pick a oh, gobstopper. Oh, oh. Who's it going to be? I don't know my hat's stuck. Let's go. Ah! It seems, once again, Ross, you're involved. No. This is going to be your revenge, Scott. Do enjoy it. Yeah! I certainly will. <laughs> Scott, wait here. I shall fetch my favourite creatures in the whole world. Maggots. You are a maggot? Come on, you beautiful little creatures. <gasps> are they lovely? Uh, they are real. Right, Scott, in absolute silence. Your 30 seconds starts now. Oh! <laughs> oh, a lot of noise there. And banging. And talking. Yes. <laughs> OK. OK, they're settling down. <laughs> well, hang on, this sounds better. Time is running out, though. Ross's feet will need a good wash after this. Time up! Were you enjoying that? What if you get... Yeah. Time flies when you're quiet. Yes, Louise? What if he gets one stuck in his stool? Well, they're very good for getting the hard cheese off your feet, you see. They eat it. Ew. Yes. Otherwise, my feet would be literally blocks of cheese if it wasn't that for maggots. Right, OK, get back to your desk. Shh. How do you think you did in my class today? Fantastic. No, hands Terrible! Louise. Absolutely terrible. Yes, you're quite correct. The only thing you've got right today. I do hope you manage to get the noise down by the end of the day. Thank Though you. Though somehow, no, I severely doubt it. Now, please, do me a favour and get out of my classroom. Yeah. Bye. 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 Louise, Scott and Shannon, too much laughing, screaming, shouting, especially for the first class of the day. Ross, on the other hand, remained reasonably quiet. OK, guys, that's the first... Tell me about Sticky Beak. Or, or All right, uh, Ross put some sticky stuff that I really enjoyed to eat um, all over my face and then feathers and then a beak. 
Right at it, we're really cool. Do you think you're getting better at it? No. Yes. We're getting right, better at doing it badly. No, By the end of the Maggot Foot Spa, of course, which I'm sure you enjoyed there, Ross. Oh. <laughs> oh, maybe not. I enjoyed uh, it. Well, you were quite quiet in that once, but that could all change. You're about to go and meet the dinner ladies, Nora and oh, Brittany. Yes. Off you go, to the canteen. Oh, See you in a bit. Attention, attention. This is the School of Silence. Any pupils found eating crisps will have them confiscated and replaced with marshmallows. They're much quieter. With one class behind them, it's time for more silent training. Dang it. Cooey! It's lunchtime. Hello, my dears. Welcome to my kitchen. How you, are you? You look lovely. I'd like to introduce myself. I am Nora, Mrs Nugget. I'm just the dinner lady here at the School of Silence. This is my lovely assistant, Brittany Biscuit. Isn't she a picture? Right, dears. I understand that you have been sent here today as a continuation of your silent training. We are going to be feeding you a number of dishes from our special menu this afternoon. Oh. And the idea is you remain completely silent. So, what's being served? Now, the first item on our menu today is pink peach smoothie. Ooh, anyone no. fancy some of that? No. No? Well, one of you is going to come around here and help Brittany to make a smoothie. And then your chosen teammate will have to drink that smoothie. But what makes the peach pink? It's the salmon paste. All right? Fishy fruit. Delicious. No. I can see you're all dying to try it. Right, Brittany, um, Shannon is going to pick the coloured gobstopper for us this time around. Oh, Who's it going to be? Yeah. Ross! Oh, wonderful! Oh, I'm so excited. I do hope you're thirsty, dear. Shh. You've put in the peach. You've now in goes the salmon paste. Oh, oh gross. The fish is quite strong. Oh, that's oh. hot. Thank you. Yeah. I think that'll do, Brittany, dear. Thank you. And poor Ross does not seem happy about having to drink it. Ooh, look at that. Lovely. <laughs> now, Shannon, would you like to present that to Ross? I am so, so sorry. <laughs> oh. yeah, smoothie first, please, dear. Oh. I think it smells rather delicious. I think it smells rather sick. You have 30 seconds, Ross, to drink as much of that smoothie as you can in absolute silence, starting from now. Right, a fish paste smoothie. <laughs> oh, that is gross. Oh, talking there. Come on, Ross. Come on. Don't take it a little bit. Shh. More talking. Cop it down. Interesting technique from Ross, but it seems to be working. <laughs> oh, some giggling. I'm not so rather enjoying this. They need to keep down the noise, and Ross needs to keep down the smoothie. <laughs> That's time up. Well, I'm not sure about your technique there, but I think you did rather well. All right, would you like to go and take your seat again? Shh, not bad. What's next? Splat a pulp choco. <gasps> Somebody pick me. Mash. Oh, yum. Do you like the sign of that? No. Yeah. Right, you will have 30 seconds to catapult as much choco mash into your chosen teammate's face as is possible <laughs> in the given time. <laughs> All right. Oh, Brittany, dear, yeah. let Ross pick a, a coloured gobstopper oh, there. Come on. Yeah. Oh, and it's the green one. I can see you're very excited about that. <laughs> right then, Ross, I'd like to see you get as many of these in young Scott's face as you can manage. You have 30 seconds, but please remember, boys, absolute silence, all right? Are you ready? You have 30 seconds, dear, starting from now. Scotty bite. Oh, some talking. Go. Stop trying to catch them, Scott. Uh, more talking. They still can't seem to resist chatting in these challenges. Some giggling there. More giggling. Oh. Ah, this is better. This is much better. That's time. Oh, don't you throw them back. Thank you. No, oh, that's Ross is still going. <laughs> and a face full of chocolate. <laughs> <for Scott. laughs> 
So, that's the end of the tests in this part of your silent training. In general, I think you've done rather well, don't you? I have every hope that you may well be graduating this afternoon. So, I wish you the very best of luck. Now, off you go. While the others seem to have quietened down, Ross has now become the master giggler. Not good progress at all. Well, you've, you've had your second lesson. You've had, what was it, pink peach That's smoothie? Me. How was that? Me. Yummy. I like the pink peach smoothie. Yeah. It's all right, you can all right. That was my beautiful creation. <laughs> right then, come yeah. on. Science class, Miss Bunsen. Let's go, oh, ladies. Let's go, ladies. Ah, uh, you know what that's that's for? You must know what that's that for. Hell, can I? Good luck, Miss Bunsen. Attention, attention. This is the School of Silence. Would all the children who signed up for tap dance classes please unsign up immediately? Honestly, what were you thinking? Time for more silent training. It's their last class before their final exam. Shot, come in and sit down. No, then. My name is Miss Bunsen, and I am your science teacher. <laughs> now, this is your last class before your final exam. Can they keep quiet in this one? In Vince! In all goof. We will be testing my invincible gloves. Da -da! Of course, it will be impossible for you to pop them, because, of course, they are... Invincible. <laughs> now then, Scott, why Hello. don't you pick a coloured gobstop? No picking. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Me. Oh, you picked yourself, Scott. Shh. This is the testing stick. <laughs> you hold that. Yeah. Now, you have a very short amount of time to test all of my invincible gloves. Do you think you can do it? Yeah. In complete silence. Yeah. Yes? Are you ready? Yeah. Your silent time starts now. So, how will they do? <laughs> well, a loud bang there, but Scott is staying quiet. And again. Well, the invention isn't working very well, but they are all staying silent. Oh! Wow, they're finally getting the hang oh. of it. Oh, dear. Um, well, well done for doing it in silence, but, um, my invincible gloves didn't seem to work. Um, back to the drawing board, I think. Let's try one that's a bit harder. <laughs> well, let's hope this invention works. It's a jetpack. Right. One of you will be wearing a pack full of fizzy pop and we're going to put some pellets in, which are power pellets. They will help you take off into the atmosphere. Pick a coloured gobstop. There we go. Who's it going to be? Make sure it's a good one, Louise. <laughs> oh, unlucky Ross. When you drop in the power pellets, you must step back. OK, as it flies through the air, you never know what will happen. Right. Mm. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you set? <laughs> Go! Will they be silent? Oh, oh that's a loud scream. <laughs> Screaming, banging, <laughs> giggling. This is not good before the final exam. <laughs> that was supposed to be done in silence! You were really, really noisy through that. Especially you guys. Terrible. And you, Ross, well done during the experiment. You were very focused, ready to take off. Still didn't fly. What a shame. Right then, boys and girls, off you go. You find a big sound. And uh, good luck. Right, so funny. <laughs> Shh. In the last lesson of the day with Miss Bunsen, Ross, the little noise monger, kept it quiet. Remarkable. But if only his other two teammates, Shannon and Scott, had kept it stum, it would have been a successful class. OK, so you've had your third lesson. You've now had all the silent training to prepare you for the final exam. How do you feel, Louise? Yeah. Do you want to go away with the golden gobstopper? Yeah! All right, then, when you're off to your final exam with Colonel Kittens, good luck, live long and prosper. Well, See you later. Ta ra. Bye. Good luck. Five. Thanks, Scott. See you in a bit. You're just not going to do it, are you? That's it. Close the door. Thank you. Attention. Attention. This is the school of.
of silence. I'm happy to announce a great victory for the school. We won the under-13 Chinese Whispers tournament. They've had their three classes, and now it's time for their final exam. Colonel Kittens will really put them to the test. To graduate and win the golden gobstopper, they must keep that shut. If they set off the gobstop 2003 times, they will be expelled! Well, their silent training's all been building up to this, their final exam, with Colonel Kittens. Wait! What? You ghastly little goblins! Yes! I am Colonel Kittens! Yes, sir! Oh, yeah. And it's my job to make you crack! Yes, yes sir! Yes, sir! Oh, like an egg! You like making a lot of noise, don't you? Yes! Yes! This is your final exam. It's very simple to understand, which is lucky, because you look quite stupid. <laughs> if you make three noises three. that set off the Gobstop 2000, <laughs> you will fail and be expelled. <laughs> Yay! If you manage to make less than that, then you will graduate <laughs> and win the Golden, Golden Gobstopper. Gobstopper. Game over. These are my munitions and they shall be all coming your way. Your way. And goodness knows you deserve it. Adorn, adorn. Right, I've had enough of this. Oh, sure Let's that. shut them up. Sure. Thank you. Are you ready to suffer in silence? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, kind of. Yeah. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, it's diagonal. Your time starts no. now. OK, what's first? Ooh. The tickle stick and a noise from Scott there. Not a good start. A bit of foot tickling. Hold it. Ah, they're staying silent. Oh, cheeky, Shannon. Ah, the gunk ladle. Some definite quiet giggling there. Will that be a strike? And a loud noise from Louise. OK, what's next? Ah, oh, it's the splodge rocket. Straight to the face. Yeah, more giggling there. Remember, three strikes and they're out. One of the Colonel's trademark silly walks there, not doing the job, so he takes the silly string out. Okay, here comes the paintbrush. Scott gets it straight on the head. Some more quiet giggles there. Will that be too much? <laughs> Definite noise being made here. Oh no, the gun's chicken. Surely this will set them off. <laughs> yeah, thought so. Some definite laughing there. Okay, here comes the snowstorm. Who's gonna get it? That'll be Ross. A definite groan there. The Colonel listening hard. They seem to be staying strong. Come on, guys, just ten seconds left. Here come the fun feathers. Just hold it. Hold it a bit longer. Homer! Look at the state of you. You look absurd. You boy, you look like a parrot. You nasty little creatures. Thank you. Now, get out of my gym. Get rid of them. Get out. <laughs> so we have come to this point, the final exam. You all look like you've gone through it fairly unscathed. Scott, you look good. Um, are you happy with how it went? Yeah. yeah. That was funny. I was. Oh, I hope it's amazing. Yeah, you enjoyed it. And the slime in my hair. It looks I good. I've got slime all over. I've got yeah. <laughs> you know, the whole point of that was to see if you could be silent for long enough did I? to graduate. I don't know, did you? What do you think? Excelled. Have you graduated or are you expelled? You're about to find out. <laughs> so how did they do? It's time for the results of the final exam. Come in. Quickly. We're sent here because you're all far too noisy. And I've put you through rigorous silent training all day. 
Hmm? Yeah. Let's have a look at the report, shall we, Scott? Yeah. Hands off the desk. Thank you. Louise, quite the chatterbox, hmm? Shh. Oh, yes. Come on. Keep Don't the... take it, little bit. Just take all the one. <laughs> in fact, noise in most of the tests, you and Shannon. Chatter, chatter, chatter. Mm -hmm. Scott. Yeah. Outrageous. What kind of bird were you in Mr. Gross's class? <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, I was a parrot show when people could talk, I could talk too. Really? Ridiculous boy. Ross. You got off to a flying start. I had high hopes for you. Silent through most of the tests, but you didn't quite take off him in Sponson's class, did you? Shh. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shannon, never before have I met such a noisy little girl. Yes. Quite sad, really. Shh. <laughs> Even hugging a teddy seemed to create chaos, didn't it? <laughs> mm. That was not me. Oh, wasn't it? Your twin sister. So, you're noisy. You're noisy. You're noisy. You, not so much. So let's see, how did you do in your final exam? Did you fail? Or will you graduate? Mm hmm? No, no. Mm. I can now reveal... Scott, one's half a desk. You will graduate. <laughs> you only set off the Gobstop 2000 once. So let's see that strike. Ooh! It's Scott. <laughs> Your training has been terrible, but you turned it around in the final exam. So, I'll now reward you with a golden Gobstopper. Ross. Okay. Be on your way. Spread the silence. Now get out! Oh, oh, out! No. Bye! Bye, Bye. Bye. <laughs> You're too, Barney. Keep them quiet. Will do. Brings me out in hives. Sorry. More brand new School of Silence next week, but up next it's MI High. Can Rose and Oscar reverse the mind machine? Welcome to the Cartoon Works. Come inside to see CBBC's top cartoons and get a sneaky peek at some new stuff. But that's not all. We've got a whole factory to explore. Let me show you around. There's loads of games in our production line. If you're good enough and you spot all the hidden clues, you might even get to be boss. The cartoon works these new recruits. Come and join us at bbc.co.uk forward slash cbbc.